What's going on, TW fans? Jake here bringing you this week's episode of What's New at Tackle Warehouse. It is March. It is the best time to be out there on the water. We got a bunch of stuff to talk about today. We got new baits, we got new apparel, uh, some tournament accessories, and we got some hot promos we're going to start off with. So, first up, a uh, new promo from Lose. So, the Lose American Hero Tier 1 series. So, this series of rods and reels just came out a few weeks ago, and we're running a promo. That's going to be while supplies last. So if you're going to be on the fence about it, you want to jump on this while you can and take advantage of the deal while we still have it, uh, still have the, the deals in stock. So if you buy any of the Lou's American Hero Tier 1 series of rods, you're going to get a $50 coupon that you'll be able to use towards your next Tackle Warehouse order. So you get a $50 coupon. And if you buy any of the Lou's American Hero Tier 1 reels, you're actually going to get a promo sweatshirt with it as well. Really cool sweater, got that OD green finish, nice big American Hero logo on the front, and a TW logo on the side. Really sweet deal, so if you buy the combo, you're gonna get a free sweater, and you're gonna get a $50 coupon towards your next uh, Tackle Warehouse order. So take advantage of it while you still can. All right, new reel from 13 Fishing. This is a new spinning reel, this is the 13 Arios spinning reel. So 13 has come out with some premium spinning reels. We just got a whole bunch of them in stock. I think we got everything down to a reel that's, I believe, about 40 bucks, all the way to up around $200. This new Arios comes in uh, around $140. This is a really cool spinning reel. I'm taking it out of the box and checking it out. Uh, was highly impressed with the quality of this reel. So a few of the things they did down here in the drive system, they have a CNC cut aluminum drive gear, and they have a brass pinion gear, and their drive system is really, really smooth. When you crank on this thing, it feels great. Uh, another thing they did, they have a proprietary uh, or a patented uh, cool drag system up here on the top. So if you're familiar with uh, you know normal drag systems on spinning reels, you, you open these up and there's a stack of drag washers. Um, they're actually using a proprietary material and a different shape of their drag design in there. So it's kind of a concave shape. I actually unscrewed it just to check it out to see uh, what was different about it. It is like a concave shape and it just contacts more surface area, which in turn is gonna give you a smoother drag system. Really cool drag, and you can feel this thing. It is ultra, ultra smooth. And up here on the top, the rotor system is actually sealed, so you can use this in salt water if you'd like. Got a nice rubberized knob on there. Really cool spinning reel from 13 Fishing. Uh, it makes you, you check out the whole line of spinning reels they just came out with. Now, let's talk about some early classic release stuff from Sixth Sense. So, the Bassmaster Classic right around the corner. We're already getting some baits in that are early classic release. This first one here is the new five inch trace swim bait. So their trace swim bait is already a very popular, highly successful swim bait. Now they have a smaller version of it. Uh, depending on the sink rate you get, you're gonna get anywhere from 0.8 of an ounce to just over an ounce. So you don't need any kind of specialized gear to throw these. So you've any kind of like medium heavy rod, you should be just fine. Um, now you just have that little bit smaller package. You're gonna be able to get a little bit, uh, a few more bites than the bigger model. So is places where you fish with maybe smaller forage or if you fish ponds, something like that. Now they just have this great swim bait in a smaller package. They've got a bunch of really cool colors, paint jobs and the finishes on six cents baits are usually second to none. Multi-jointed swim bait, it gets a really great action. You can do a bunch of stuff with it. You can burn it really fast. You can twitch it and it'll kind of dart off like a wounded bait fish. It's really cool if you've seen some of the underwater footage of it. Uh, premium hardware all the way around, black split rings, triple grip treble hooks. Uh, this is a really cool bait from, uh, from Six Cents. The next one I wanna talk about, Provoke 106 DD Silent Jerk Bait. Now the Provoke is another highly successful line of jerk baits. Not only did they come out with a new jerk bait to add to their lineup, they've added a bunch of new colors and this one is my favorite, the Shad Dawn. And I believe they have this color in just about all the different series of jerk baits that they already carry. I mean, some of the finishes that they come out with and some of the colors, you need to go check them out. On the website, we've highlighted the new colors, so they should be at the, at the top of the page and they're all marked. But if you can see all the different, the layers of paint that goes into these things, uh, the scale finish, uh, the chrome on the gill plates, the, the kind of iridescent chartreuse on the belly, uh, this is one of the best paint jobs I've seen in a long, long time. Now this 106DD Silent, it's uh, going to be a tool that you need to add in the arsenal for, for any of your jerkbait fishing. It's going to be good for those times, maybe you have really clear water, those lakes where you have 20, 30 foot visibility, you can see all the way down to the bottom. That deep diving silent model is going to get you deeper, 
Uh, fish are gonna be able to see it from a little bit longer away. And then that silent bait is gonna be good for those clear water situations and when the fish are highly pressured. So, you know, just something to add to the jerkbait arsenal. Uh, it seems like jerkbaits are more and more popular now with all the live scope fishing. So uh, something that's just gonna be a little bit more natural in the water and get you a little bit deeper in the column as well. So this one goes four to seven feet, but if you go down to the eight or 10 pound fluoro, you can get it down to about eight and nine feet. Really cool jerk bait. They've also gone into uh, crappie baits. So we've gotten a couple new little crappie jigs. This first one here is their new pluck hair jig. And then we got the spangle tensile jig. Little baits for crappie fishing. If you're doing vertical jigging, uh, putting them on a float and fly, you can just cast and reel them. Uh, they're really cool. They're really vibrant colors. The, uh, the pluck has got all these hand tied feathers on it. A couple little pieces of like mylar flash in there. And then the spangle, it's just a bunch of tinsel, you know, wrapped around that shank. It's gonna have a lot of flash. And then there's some tinsel out there on the tail. So if you're a crappie angler, or, you know, those times when the water's really clear, you can catch a lot of bass on these things as well. I believe they have them all the way up to a quarter ounce. So you can, you know, use your, your drop shot rod, catch a few bass with them as well. The last one from Sixth Sense is their new hybrid axle finesse jig. So these axle jigs are really cool. They've, they've come out with these a few years ago and they're really unique design. Um, it's got that swinging hook on there and then down in the middle, they have a screw lock system. So if I can get it out of this skirt material. So you have that screw lock down here in the, in the, in the middle, right behind the head and you screw lock your soft plastic to it. And then you basically just Texas rig it to that hook right there. So no weed guard and it's 100% weedless. If you've never tried one of these, these go through cover just as good, if not better than your, you know, weedless Texas rig. Now this finesse model, it's a, a little bit downsized. It's got that finesse cut skirt, a little bit thinner hook. So if you're looking for something a little bit more compact and something that you want to put a smaller trailer on, uh, that's going to be the one you want to check out. Okay, from Guggen Baits, this is actually an iCast release. We've been waiting for a long time to get these. This is the new Dube Tube. So this is the three and a half inch model. We have them in a two and a half, three and a half, and a four. Uh, what I like about this tube, it's got a little bit more body than it does on the tails, a uh, little bit shorter tails, and then the heavy ribbing, it's just, it's deep cut all the way around. So it's gonna be good for putting like a Texas rig hook in there. There's gonna be a nice, um, a lot of surface area on there where you can really bury that hook point and keep it super weedless, but there's no problem with rigging it on a jig head like you would with a normal tube as well. Um, these tubes on the smaller sizes, they come in your more traditional tube, kind of small mouth colors, but when you jump up to the four inch, they really geared that one towards flipping and pitching, and the four inch ones are kind of your large mouth uh, flipping colors. So like your Alabama craw, black blue, stuff like that. Uh, loaded with the slaunch sauce. Uh, if you've never fished any of the Guggen baits, when these things came out, we were fishing a bunch of them because I really think that scent just really triggers a lot of bites. Um, just adding a new plastic to their, uh, to their whole lineup, the new Dube tube. Now we got a couple interesting ones from Longest Baits. So uh, Longest always comes out with something, with stuff that's really unique. Uh, this one, no exception. So this first one here is the Funnel Spinner Bait. And up here on the front of the head, that's where it gets its name, is you kind of have like a scrounger disc, um, you know, around the head of the spinner bait. And that's really cool. So you didn't get that flash from these blades, but this thing's gonna wobble side to side like a scrounger head. So you're gonna get all kinds of vibration and a totally different action than any other spinnerbait out there. Uh, hand-tied skirts on them, owner hooks. They got the color matching heads with the color matching, uh, you know, hand-tied skirts on there. You know, premium ball bearing swivels, a really cool spinnerbait, pretty interesting to try it out. And they've also taken that same concept over to a vibrating jig. This is the Funnel Gladiator Bait. Now this is another one I'm interested to try just because that vibrating blade on the front is gonna move so much water and then this thing's gonna rock back and forth and just create even more water disturbance. I think you're gonna be able to fish these things a little bit slower than most of your other vibrating jigs as well because those, those cups on the mouth are just gonna add some resistance and this thing's gonna pull and just move all kinds of water and just be something totally unique. Probably gonna be good for dirty water since it is gonna push so much water. Uh, the fish are gonna be able to track this thing down no problem. So something unique and interesting, make sure to check those out from Longest Baits. All right. Uh, from Dobbins Rods, we got a couple new accessories. So this first little guy right here is our new tip removal tool. And when we were first checking this thing out, um, this is a slick little product. So, you know, tips on fishing rods, probably the number one thing that gets damaged on them. Uh, I don't know how many hundreds of rods are piled up in the back with broken tips on them. 
or the inserts or something are popped out. So if you need to replace the tip on a fishing rod, uh, this tool does a great job and helps you helps prevent you from damaging the blank of your rod. So you hook the tip up to this little spring here and it adds the perfect amount of tension and you have this, uh, this little series of holders right there that um, you lock the rod in there and then you just barely heat it up with a lighter and that spring pulls the tip right off. If you apply too much heat to the end of a rod, you can really ruin the graphite if you're not careful. Uh, so this this thing, especially if you uh, if you repair rods, you know maybe for your buddies or something like that, uh, this is something great to throw in the uh, you know throw in the garage uh, for you know replacing the tips on fishing rods. And the other thing they got here is their new cold tags. So these little cold buoys really cool. Um, not only are they colored, they're also numbered. I've had guys come into the retail store and they, they need numbers because they, you know, they're colorblind, they couldn't tell what, what color was what. So uh, if you need numbers or colors, either one's got you covered. The pack comes with eight and they got the non-penetrating clips up on the top and uh, the desi design on these, you can do it with one hand, no problem. And they're really, really strong. And they're also small, low profile. So they're not gonna be as, as big and bulky as some of the other ones on the market. So they're gonna be low pro kind of reduce the harm on the fish. And then again, they're non-penetrating. So really reducing the harm on the fish. Uh, really cool system of cold tags there from Dobbins Rods. All right, finish off with some apparel from Hook. So we got a bunch of new Hook stuff in over the last uh, week or so. So you definitely go over to the website and you know check out all the different stuff from Hook. We got a bunch of different hats, shirts. I mean, we, we probably have 20, 30 different things there, uh, new products from Hook Total. Um, the first one here is their next level pants and shorts. So their shorts are a 10 and a half inch inseam. Uh, really cool, really cool shorts. And then we have the full pants if you wanted to pant. Uh, pretty much the same features, same materials. They are a cotton poly spandex blend. So they're really soft and comfortable. They're not that full polyester. So they feel like more like a traditional short. Uh, one thing that we did like about them is they're perforated on the back here. And then they have a gusset that's perforated into the crotch here. So in the summertime, these are gonna, you know, just have maximum airflow. And then they have the kind of adjustable stretching waistband on them. So when you're going to the buffet, you're gonna have that nice comfortable waistband on there. Uh, you know, really cool pair of shorts. They got them in, I believe we got three different colors. And then we have the pants as well, cargo pocket on the side. Uh, you know, really nice comfortable pants and shorts. But if you need to do rain suit, we got a sweet rain suit. This is the new Hook Tournament bibs and jacket. So on the bibs and the jacket themselves, they're, uh, they're 20K waterproof material. Um, all, this, all the seams on, on the inside, they're all, they're all fully taped seams. So you're not gonna get any water intrusion. Uh, all the zippers are waterproof. They got zippers that go down the leg and the cuffs that are easy to get on and off. Reinforced knee, reinforced seat area in the back. One thing that I like that they did with their bib is on the back here, uh, this back panel is a stretchy mesh material. And it's just gonna help give you a little bit better airflow and then have that stretch. It's just gonna be a little bit more comfortable. That's usually kind of the point um, on the bibs. It's the least comfortable on them. And they have that elastic and uh, Velcro system around the waist so you can really cinch it down and get it to fit exactly how you want it. On the jacket, same thing, 20K waterproof material. Um, and this whole system is a lightweight system. So you gives you the room to kind of layer up underneath. Totally the, the kind of rain suit that I like to wear. Kind of lightweight, gives you the option to, uh, you know, add more layers when it's cold or, you know, not be sweating when it's out there and uh, when it's hot and you just need to be protected from the rain and not the cold. Um, this is really breathable material as well. On the jacket, we got the zipper and it's got that storm flap over the front and there's storm flaps over the side zippers and the zippers that go into the pocket. So keeps all the water out. On the cuff on these things, they have a double cuff system. And the cuff that they're using on this inner cuff, I'm not sure what the material is, but it almost feels like it's a rubberized material. And you can cinch that down. So you can even reach into the live well and grab fish out. And you're not gonna get any water going up this sleeve. Uh, you know, grabbing fish out of the out of the lake, out of the live well, uh, just gonna keep uh, you know any of that cold water from going up into your sleeve and getting those other layers wet and keeping you soaked throughout the day. Uh, so really cool, uh, you know, uh, jacket and bibs there from Hook. If you're looking for a new rain suit, I'd highly check that one out. Kind of keeps you, uh, you know, it's going to keep you dry, protect it from the wind, and it gives you the option to layer up if it's cold outside as well. And last but not least, for summertime, got a new straw hat. This is the new Fish and Flags uh, straw hat. Probably one of the better designs I've seen on the bottom of a straw hat. 
Uh, they got this nice protective material, but they got American flags on there. Trucks, boats, uh, frosty beverages, bass, what more could you ask for? So if you're looking for a new straw hat for the summertime, got the nice tether on there, uh, check this one out from Hook Fishing. That's going to wrap up today's episode of What's New with Tackle Warehouse. For more information or to purchase any of these products seen here today, make sure to click shop or link in the description below. If you enjoyed this week's video, hit the like button, subscribe to our channel, let us know in the comments which one of these products you're most excited about.